Hello, Chip Thompson here. My marketing blog is chiptthompson.com. Please check it out and uh, add some comments and especially questions. I like making screen videos uh, relating to questions and I do have a question I'm responding to here. It was not on my blog but I had to do with tracking uh, clicks from solo ads and knowing how uh, which uh, clicks came from which. So this is how I do it. I'm sure there's about a million ways to do it, but this is how I do it using free software that so far is working great. I know there's going to be more detail down the road, but right now it works great. Okay, here we go. As you can see, this is my number one that I use right here. Uh, that's the main one, and I've got 573 clicks on it so far. These are a uh, secondary one here. Go back to the first page, and there's some more right here. And these are all uh, different ones I've used in different places. Uh, so, like for example, if I I would recommend in customizing that you like this says save six months. This says Tony small things. It's Tony Robbins uh, tiny changes me big mean huge results. If I can read the title right. And so what I recommend is naming them in such a way that you know what they mean so you can track it, but not so that it distracts from the people clicking on it. We've got to remember it's, it is real people clicking here. So let's go back. This one is, what do I call this one? Yeah, free SFM report. So I know that this is what I've been using for my solo ads. Let me show you how what that looks like here. This was an ad here. This was an ad here. Uh, I have to admit, one of the first things I did was m to mistake all the clicks as uh, clicks from the ad. And uh, let me show you here. I had a big, huge 200 clicks that day, but 156 was the download my free report. So 156 actually clicked on that link. And then, of course, here's the ones that downloaded and I can even track uh, which ones went to uh, sign up because that would show up under uh, hits to my website. I'll actually have uh, 15 hits to my capture page means that 15 people actually went through a campaign. So that's that's separate from this. But okay, so this year day, for example, 48 clicks were from my uh, this link. So I know that's happening there. See if I got any from another link here. I think it's one of these days. See, this is a SFM report, so that's 17 clicks from the, that uh, solo campaign. But then right here, I got uh, Chip Home Biz One. It looks like that was a different campaign, different system entirely. Brian Tracy talking about goals again, different place. This here came from inside my email. This here looks like, yeah, that came from inside my email. This was also inside my email. They're, so they're following up on the different clicks. So you got to make sure that when you see on this day there's 32 clicks. It was not from the campaign. This is from uh, various other places as well, but there was 17. So that's what you want to make sure you're doing, that you're watching that. So, okay. Now that is what I do to, to track from Bitly. And uh, again, uh, you would just take any kind of a link that you were going to shorten. You would put it in here. And let's say I'm going to shorten Chip D. Thompson. Dot com. Maybe it wants an address. HTTP. So we can shorten that. So now I have this Bitly with the undescript and it's going to be hard for me to track and remember and it's going to look kind of cheesy in an email so you can customize that chips main blog that's all it takes to customize and now I know that is going to be going back to my main blog so of course I can put that out there uh, as a link and I can track how many people are clicking on that okay well that's it for now Please uh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, and I'll be glad to get back to you. All the best. Again, ChipDThompson.com. See you soon.